Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with a family seeing something scary inside a house, and they run away in a car. One year later, another family plans to move into this house. The family consists of the main character, a young boy Kevin, his parents, and his older brother. Legend has it that the house is haunted by ghosts. In fact, when the real estate agent takes them to visit the house, she takes a look inside to see if strange things are happening. Meanwhile, Kevin is not at all happy about the frequent moves. Every five months, the family packs up and moves to a new location, leaving him depressed. Despite his father's efforts to improve their living conditions, he remains dissatisfied. His father forces him to come with them to see the house, and before entering, he notices a light in the attic window. His mother points out to the real estate agent the price of the house is very low, and asks if something bad has happened. However, she states nothing of worry has happened. Kevin walks around the house, and takes a look at the rooms. When he enters the attic, he feels the presence of something, but then discovers it is only his brother, who wants to scare him. Over the next few days, the family decides to move in, and they start bringing their things inside. Kevin plays the electric guitar, but his father asks him to give him a hand. He notices the girl next door playing the trombone, and becomes enchanted. That evening, the father wants the family to spend time together, but Kevin remains glued to his phone. So the father initially tries to dance, but when he sees that Kevin does not want to join them, he takes his phone from him. The two begin to argue, and Kevin accidentally offends his father. Later at night, Kevin is trying to sleep, when he hears unusual noises coming from the attic. He examines the source, and finds that the room has become unusually cold. Suddenly, he turns around and sees a ghost, trying to scare him. Despite the ghost's efforts, Kevin is giggling, and starts filming it with his phone. The ghost is everything it can to scare him, but he refuses to give in. His nonchalant attitude toward the ghost's antics irritates the ghost, who eventually disappears back into the wall. Kevin tries to stop him, but to no avail. The next day at school, Kevin does an internet search on ghosts, and discovers that these are people left on Earth as a result of unhealed trauma. Soon after, he meets his neighbor, Joy. The two hit it off from the start. When the girl learns that he has moved into the house next to hers, she points out that it is haunted. He seems surprised, but chooses not to talk about what he saw yesterday. Then she invites him out after school, but he declines, citing the need to study. Later in the day, he decides to summon the ghost while alone at home. After several attempts, he begins to chant, and suddenly, the ghost appears behind him. The ghost continues to try to scare Kevin, but he stands firm, and informs him that he already has a difficult life, and that there is nothing the ghost can do to scare him further. While talking to him, Kevin finds a name printed on his chest and assumes he is named Ernest. The ghost does not speak or remember his previous life, so he is unable to provide any information about himself. Suddenly, he says a word, but Kevin's older brother enters, and the ghost disappears. The brother asks for his phone, because their mother confiscated it, since he chose to give a ride to a girl to school instead of Kevin. When his brother tries to take his phone by force, the ghost helps him push his brother, who falls down. He becomes afraid of his younger brother's strength, and leaves. During dinner, everyone notices Kevin in a good mood, but he does not explain why he is. His father comes across the ghost video on his phone. Intrigued, the father orders him to put the video on YouTube. The two post the video on YouTube, and views begin to pour in. However, when Kevin's older brother tries to inform his mother about the video, his father intervenes, knowing it would scare her off. As the views of the video increase, they become pleased, and wonder if they could benefit even more. The footage is discovered by a doctor and paranormal investigator, Leslie Monroe, who initially thinks it is a hoax. Kevin's father decides to make another video, to confirm its validity. They go into the attic and try to summon the ghost, knowing Kevin has a unique relationship with him. Kevin's father films the process, and posts the video. The video quickly becomes popular, spreading from YouTube to TikTok. Dr. Leslie, who previously questioned the video, examines this new video, and is convinced it is authentic. She goes to the agency in charge of capturing the spirits, and informs them of the reality of these ghosts, asking them to take action. However, the head of the agency denies her claims, labeling the video fake, and escorting her off the premises. Meanwhile, a large crowd gathers outside Kevin's house, filling the father with pride, as he realizes his ambition to become a rich man has been accomplished. Next, Leslie visits the house, and warns the father that things are not going well for Kevin. She talks about her significant experience with spirits, pointing out the risks they can pose to people who get too close. Despite her advice, 
he rejects it and sticks to his beliefs. Kevin, unlike his father, is compassionate and understanding. He is determined to assist the ghost, and undertakes an investigation with the help of Joy. Through the investigation, they discover that the house in which they live was purchased in 1965, and the ghost in question does not have a death certificate. Later, a well-known YouTuber, who made videos about the paranormal and the dead, visits the house to interview the ghost. Kevin's father attempts to summon the spirit, but it does not appear. As a result, everyone begins to believe that the whole thing is fake, and that there is no ghost in their house. Suddenly, the lights start to flicker on and off, and various objects begin to break and fall apart. Then the ghost appears, which frightens them in an unusual and unnerving way. Although everyone is terrified, the YouTuber claims it is a setup to terrify people. When the ghost appears in front and terrorizes her, she escapes, breaking the window. Meanwhile, Kevin's brother secretly records the entire scene with his phone, and uploads it. The video quickly goes viral again, with over 3 million views. Kevin approaches the spirit, and convinces him to accompany them on their journey to learn about his life and death. Kevin wants the spirit to return to his realm, the ghost agrees, and as they leave, they are seen by numerous people. At the sight of the ghost, the people start running towards them, and they flee until they reach a nearby park. The ghost starts calling a little girl, and the people who film the thing are shocked to hear the ghost's voice. Footage of the incident quickly goes viral again, and authorities are made aware of the ghost's real presence. The agency in charge of investigating paranormal phenomena decides to use the doctor to catch the ghost. Meanwhile, Joy discovers the ghost's identity, revealing that his name is not what they expected. They discover he had previously worked in a bar, where they go to find out more, and a lady shows them a picture of the ghost with her friend. The news about the ghost spreads quickly, and people begin to fear he might be dangerous, especially to young people. Kevin's father, however, sees an opportunity to capitalize on the ghost's fame. He wants to take advantage of his presence and get rich. One night, a CIA team arrives to capture the ghost, but Kevin and his friend had already taken him away to meet his friends. After a long journey, they arrive at the home of the ghost's friend. The ghost's acquaintance informs that he and the ghost were good friends. Their wives were sisters, but unfortunately, his friend's wife died in labor. After her death, the ghost began to do stuff. One day, the ghost abandoned his daughter to him, and never returned. The police discovered his car, but not him. Meanwhile, the ghost appears and wishes to talk to his friend. As they talk, CIA agents approach, with their specialized machines to capture the spirit. When they manage to cage the ghost in a chamber, the doctor is shocked to witness this. The CIA director boasts that since the ghost is already dead, they can do whatever they want with him. The doctor disagrees, and refuses to allow them to harm the spirit. Kevin is depressed and dissatisfied with everything. His father visits him and apologizes for his mistakes. He acknowledges he used the ghost to become famous and rich. While they are talking, a policeman arrives at the agency, to examine the ghost. The man's uniform has an insignia in the shape of an eagle, which triggers some memories in the ghost. He remembers accompanying his daughter to his friend's house. His wife was with him. Suddenly, his friend killed him from behind, with an eagle. He then buried the body to hide the crime. The reason for this heinous conduct was, the friend and his wife had no children, and desired their daughter as their own. Now the ghost remembers everything. The same doctor who captured him helps him escape. Kevin, who is in the kitchen, hears some unusual noises. He is sitting next to the ghost's friend, who tells him the whole truth. He admits he became envious of the daughter, and conspired to kill. At the end of his story, the old man grabs Kevin by the neck, and puts a gun to his head. He warns him not to tell anyone what he learned, or he would be killed as well. Kevin's parents are present, and try to save their son as the old man is about to pull the trigger. Then the ghost appears, who sees his friend and his killer right in front of him, the one who took his daughter from him. The ghost starts to attack him heavily, until he loses consciousness. Moments later, the old man wakes up, and is about to shoot the ghost, but Kevin's father emerges from nowhere, and pushes him outside the window. The man falls and dies. The CIA begins to investigate the ghost, but Kevin informs them that he has already left for his world a long time ago. After all this madness, the ghost's daughter arrives to greet him. Kevin's father has accompanied her, and the ghost has finally seen his daughter after 50 years. As soon as he sees her, all his previous memories come back to him. Now he can leave this world, and move on. Kevin is overjoyed for the ghost, he is finally free and can live in his own universe at rest. The family decides to move to a new house, and Kevin starts dating Joy. The end. Thank you for watching.
subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.